Hello friends, welcome to Cooking with Claudia. Today I'm showing you how to make baked ziti. This is one of my favorite Italian meals. It's so cheesy and comforting, perfect for fall and winter. All ingredients and measurements will be in the description box. Let's get started. We're going to start by making the meat sauce. I have all my ingredients prepped here. I also have a pot heating up over medium heat. I'm going to add some olive oil to the pan to heat up. Next, I'm going to cook some meat. I'm using a mixture of Italian, sausage and ground beef. I think these two make a great combination for baked ziti. I'm using my spatula to break the meat apart. Once the meat is all broken up, I'm going to season with some salt and pepper to taste and Italian seasoning. I'm going to mix everything together, then I'm adding some minced onion and minced garlic. I'm cooking everything together for about a minute or two or until the onion and garlic begin to get fragrant. Then I'm tossing in some tomato paste. The tomato paste is going to add some thickness to the sauce. I'm going to cook it in with the meat for about one minute just to cook out that raw tomato flavor. Next, I'm going to pour in some marinara sauce. I'm also adding some whole peeled tomatoes. I like to use my hands to scoop out the whole tomatoes and smush them into the sauce. The whole tomatoes will add some texture to the sauce. It's so enjoyable when you bite into the chunks of tomatoes when you're eating your baked ziti. Don't forget to also add the sauce that comes with the whole tomatoes. Go ahead and mix everything together. Then as soon as it's very well incorporated, you're going to taste for salt and pepper, then add more as needed. I'm also adding some red pepper flakes. Next, I'm going to taste the sauce for acidity because tomatoes can be very acidic and adding a little bit of brown sugar will cut down the acidity and give it a nice taste. I'm mixing everything together, then as soon as the sauce comes to a simmer, I'm turning my heat down to medium low. Then I'm going to place the lid over my pan and let the sauce cook for 40 to 45 minutes. While the sauce is cooking, we're going to cook some pasta. So I'm boiling some water. Make sure you salt your water very well. As soon as the water starts boiling, I'm going to add in my pasta. I'm using rigatoni. Make sure to undercook the pasta. If the packaging says to cook for 10 minutes, cook for 8 minutes. Because it will continue cooking in the oven and you want it to be as firm as it can be. Once the pasta has finished cooking, make sure you drain and run it under cold water to stop the cooking process. Afterwards, set it aside for later. Next, we're going to put together the cheese filling for the baked ziti. I have some ricotta cheese in a mixing bowl. Into that, I am going to grate in some parmesan cheese. Next, I'm going to add in a little bit of fresh parsley and fresh basil. Season with a little bit of salt and pepper to taste. And last, crack in a whole egg. Toss everything together very well. Once everything is mixed in, go ahead and set it aside for later. So my sauce has cooked for exactly 45 minutes. It's very thick and it has developed a rich bright red color. That's exactly what you want to see. To add some fresh flavor, I'm going to finish it with some freshly chopped parsley and freshly sliced basil. Mix it in. You can taste for salt and add more if you want. So I've gone ahead and poured the cooked pasta into a mixing bowl. I'm going to use a kitchen spoon to scoop some of the meat sauce onto the pasta. This will kind of let the pasta get to know the meat sauce before we assemble everything into a baking pan. I added about three spoonfuls. Once that is done, it's time to put everything into a baking pan. So you want to make sure you have your pasta, your cheese filling, your meat sauce all ready to go into a baking pan. We're also going to add some more Parmesan cheese and blocks of mozzarella cheese that I cut up into bite-sized pieces. So first, I'm going to layer a little bit of the sauce onto the bottom of the pan. This will prevent sticking. Next, I'm adding one layer of pasta. We're going to be doing three layers of pasta, so divide it accordingly. Each time you add a layer of pasta, you're going to cover it with some meat sauce. So go ahead and do that. Next, I'm adding dollops of the ricotta cheese filling. 
We're only going to do two layers of the ricotta cheese, but everything else is three layers, okay guys? Next, I'm tossing in some blocks of mozzarella cheese, and I'm grating in a good amount of parmesan cheese. You're going to repeat the process until your pan is as full as it can be. I'm using a 9 by 13 inch pan, by the way. So the last topping is just going to be a layer of pasta, some meat sauce, and cheese. I've gone ahead and preheated my oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit. Once the pan is full, I'm going to place it into the oven and let it bake for 35 to 40 minutes. And here it is when it's out of the oven. The aroma is out of this world divine. I like how the cheese is very bubbly and golden brown on the top. This tastes so much better when you let it sit and cool down a little. So let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes for everything to set. It might be the longest 15 minutes of your life, but it's so worth it. The baked ziti came out really flavorful and very delicious. The browned cheese on the top gives a little bit of crunchiness when you bite into it. It's so good. It's such a comforting dish for fall and winter. If you guys would like to make this, check the description box. I have all the ingredients and measurements there. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!